Hello there, my card making friends. Shannon West here, back with another card to share with you. This one is a fun fold, a gate fold card. And I was inspired by my friend Terry Gaines. She made and shared a bunch of fun fold type cards. And so then I played around with it a little bit and made a different version that I want to share with all of you. And so um, I'm, I am using the Waves of Inspiration bundle and my paper trimmer to cut and score in all the right ways. I hope you enjoy. So here's a look at the finished card and it has this belly band and then you just slide it off and there's a gate fold like that. So you open it up um, like that. It's almost like a big armoire or something and you're opening to see what's inside. So we have these pieces of designer series paper that are cut from the same piece and then a different but coordinating set here. And then, um, of course, coordinating and decorated inside however you would like to decorate that. So let me show you the folds on all of that. And I will, of course, put all of the measurements of this in the video description so that you can recreate if you'd like. To start off with, I just have one solid piece of cardstock. And this will just be the card base, so you can pick whatever color you want for that. And then there's one piece of designer series paper that's three and a half by four and a quarter. And then the coordinating one is three and a quarter by five and a quarter. Okay, one more time. Three and a half by five and a quarter, three and a quarter by five and a quarter. <laughs> and I have the measurements in centimeters too, so I will put those in the video description. And then this piece is the piece that will be inside, especially since it's a Knight of Navy card, you need a lighter color to write on the inside of the card, and that's also where I'll do the stamping at the bottom there. Then you need one more little piece for the tag. I'll show that one more time. Okay, let's make it then. So starting with our piece of cardstock, I'm going to cut it at five and a half by 11. So just cut that here. So we're gonna use this whole length of the card. So this is the original version, let's see. The one that um, Terry showed was just a little shorter than this and I just extended it up a little bit to see how it would look differently so it'd still be a full size card. And then this one right here is our belly band. So I'm going to cut it at one and a half inches. So this piece, we'll just score it first since we have it right here. For our belly band, I wanna score at three and a half and let's see is that even on the screen hold on let me put it up here so that everyone can follow along three and a half score one and then the next one is seven and a half okay so i have to do that one down here because i gotta go to the arm and that one you could go just a teeny bit beyond seven and a half if you want to, just to make sure it goes around the card. If you have a problem with that, you can always come back and do another score line here, and then that will give you kind of like a, a little more depth to your project. Now for our card. So we need to score it four times so that we have the two front flaps, the two inside flaps, and then the part where we're going to write. So these score lines, here I'll flip my paper trimmer around, these score lines will be two inches. Let's see, there we go. Two inches, three and three fourths inches. And then the uh, on the other side, we need seven and one fourth and nine. And if you're checking it, it's 11 inches, so nine is two inches in, and we scored two on the other side. Just kind of checking our work, making sure we're scoring the right amounts on both sides. So that looks pretty good, I would say. Um, Knight of Navy, this is really quite stiff cardstock, so you gotta get your bone folder out there and really go to town on that to help those to lay flat. But the good news is we have a belly band when we're finished that will help that lay flat. And one thing that's kind of interesting about this is the card itself is a little skinnier, but those front pieces stick out further to make the front of the card look wider. So that's kind of fun. Okay, let's cut these while we're here. 
both of these pieces of designer series paper need to be cut in half so that they can go one on each side of the card. So this one is going to be one and three fourths. And I'm going to keep those right together and put them on the card like that so they the pattern stays consistent. And this one is going to be one and five eighths. Okay, you can just kind of eyeball it, make sure it looks right. I'd say that looks pretty good. I think we can put that away for now. And let's see if we can assemble this card. That is looking awesome. We just need to do this piece on the inside, which I've cut that piece out already. And this one is three and a fourth by five and a fourth, I believe, yes it is. And so I'm going to use the Waves of Inspiration stamp set to add this beautiful wave. We're not gonna use the whole image, but just kind of the top piece of it. So since it's gonna be right in here just kind of measure and I want it to show up right along that way so I'll just flip it over and get it on there a good amount so that you can tell it's a wave but it's leaving lots of space for me to write my feelings to the person that I'm sending this to <laughs> perfect that looks awesome I can stick this down to the card now and our card is totally finished. Now we're ready for the embellishing of the belly band. We need to be careful with this too because I've got inky fingers. So far so good. All right, that's looking awesome. I'm gonna set this aside now and work on the belly band piece. So I have this extra piece of white cardstock and this is about two inches by three and a half inches. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, just make like a banner bottom. I'm not sure what you call this, like the pointy bottom, just to give it a little bit of interest. And then I've got Smoky Slate and the Pelican perched on the pier or the, I don't know, the board, the, I don't know, what are those things, the logs? Just put that right there. Oh, that smoky slate looks awesome with that image. It's perfect amount. And then for the greeting, we'll just stamp the greeting right over the top. So I'll do that in Night of Navy so that it really stands out. I mean, I could add another piece of cardstock, but I like layering stamps. Making my own version of two-step stamps. And you can easily see you are so totally awesome works out perfectly. The last little embellishment that I want to add to this, well, there's a couple more actually, but this one is one of the little clouds from the coordinating dies, the wave dies. So I'll just add that right up here in this little corner. And now I think we're ready to stick this down. I, oh, I do want to add some ribbon. So I've got this shiny and beautiful ribbon that we can put right along the bottom. Well, let's see, I stamped my greeting a little lower than I did the first time I made this, but we will make this work. Just gonna kind of have it down here. I like um, really big, beautiful bows, <laughs> but sometimes they can overwhelm the card and kind of take over. So you have to, you have to kind of temper that a little bit. But this ribbon is really soft, and so it is easy to work with, and it's not too bulky. So I'm saying that right as I'm struggling tying this bow. That's okay. It'll be worth it in the end. There we go. Okay, that looks nice. Let's just get it the right length. And perfect. So now I'll stick this down to my belly band. And our card is complete. 
Those bunny ears are still a little bit wild, so let's try to tame our bow just a little bit more. It's looking good. It kind of covers up the totally a little bit, but the, per, the recipient can take it, can move the bow out of the way to see what it says. Let's see, where's our belly band? I better get this here before I put the dimensionals on. Okay, I'll just do it kind of right in the middle. And then just set that like so. Okay, now this is gonna go around our card. Now, if we've done all our measurements right, this will work perfectly. I didn't even check. I'm being very confident in my skills here. So let's see what happens. Hold your breath. Will it work? <gasps> it does. Slide that on the card. And we have a beautiful gatefold card with an awesome message. And look at how all of those blues and greens play together. It's absolutely lovely. The coordinating products are gold and um, help you create so many fun things. And I hope you can use these measurements to create many of these on your own. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.